levels of unemployment Je, wewe ni Mkristo ambaye unashabikia ndoa ya zaidi ya mke mmoja? Basi kanisa la Nomia lenye makao makuu katika kaunti ya Siaya ndilo jawabu. Bramwell Bwire alitembelea kanisa hilo ambalo ni miongoni mwa makanisa ya kwanza kuanzishwa na wamishionari nchini wakati wa ukoloni na ambalo sasa limetajwa kurodheshwa kama eneo la turathi za kihistoria. Kanisa hili la Nomia Ilianzishwa mwaka 1914 baada ya nabii Yohana Walo kudai kusafiri kuelekea mbinguni na hatimaye kurejea na ujumbe numia. Neno la Kiluo lenye tafsiri nilipokea kwa muktadha huu nilipokea neno la Mungu. Chimbuko la kanisa hili likichangiwa sana na utofauti kati ya imani ya nabii Yohana Walo na ile ya wamishonari. Aliwahi kuwa Mkatoliki kabla ya kuwa Mwanglikana ila yote hayakumponza roho na hivyo akaanzisha kanisa hili in march we have the first of march when we remember the day that the prophet got a calling the day that he received the call to start this church called nomia nomia means i was given that's the day that he was given the call to come and start this church tofauti na makanisa mengine hapa mwanaume anaruhusiwa kuoa zaidi ya mke mmoja vile vile siku sabini baada ya mjane kufiliwa na mumewe unaruhusiwa kumridhi mjane huyo the church has no problem with the polygamy. We conduct weddings for those who want to retain one wives, but the church does not condemn polygamy because it's so so biblical. You look at all those prophets in the Bible and you find that unless you get one or none, almost all of them were polygamous. Likiwa katika eneo la Nyanza ambalo kitamaduni halikuwa tahiri wana wa kiume. Kanisa hili huwapasha tohara watoto wa kiume na bila kujali umri unapokuwa mshirika wa kanisa hili ni sharti upashe tohara bila kutahiriwa haruhusiwi kushikilia wadhifa wote katika kanisa hili Male circumcision at the beginning was very controversial because the laws never circumcised so that's one of the things that made him uh, put him at loggerheads with so many traditional leaders at that time No mere church members as the bible says children born are circumcised on the eighth day and if you become a, 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 a member of the church then at whatever age you change and become a, a nomia church member for you to become a communicant member you must be circumcised at that time circumcision goes with baptism nabi yohana alikuwa babu ya waziri wa mawasiliano eludo walo na alifariki mwaka 1920 kabla mwanawe ambaye pia ni marehemu askofu charles owalo babake wa waziri wa walo kuchukua hatamu ya uongozi wa kanisa hili tofauti na babuye na babake waziri wa walo hahusiki na uongozi wa kanisa hili now this is a church that has brought up aspects of culture together with religion into one that we can pray with our cultural uh, understanding without going against the, the norms in the bible without transgressing god's commandments and therefore it is possible therefore through this church for people to understand that you can still maintain your culture and you become godly historia hiku ikiwa kichochezi cha uamuzi wa wizara ya utamaduni na utalii kuliorodhesha kanisa hili kama moja wapo ya sehemu za kumbukumbu za turathi za tamaduni ya taifa there are places we have burials Uh, we have a uh, grave of uh, missionaries just like this one of Owalo the white missionaries and all that and we are trying to connect to that so that we can see how to build a brand or a product called religious tourism we have sought support from the government to have this church rebuilt we have also sought support from the government to have the mausoleum rebuilt <coughs> Kete news sia Nani afueni kwa watoto wasiojiweza na wenye ugonjwa wa mwanya mdomoni na fistula kwa